think tonight is the last night of the um, midnight service on the T, so any of you guys being left home, um, you can come on our bus, we'll get you back. Um, obviously excited. I thought it was a tremendous hockey game. Um, our kids played hard. They were resilient. They showed a lot of resolve. We, we lost a player early in the second period. A uh, defenseman, uh, Garrett Cockrell, to a broken finger. Uh, we had a couple other guys um, you know, who, who just gutted it out and uh, couldn't be more proud of, of this group of young men. Um, not just because of where we started from and where we are now, but just um, the game tonight and to beat a Boston College team that's a very good team in this in this uh, environment and venue uh, to give, or give ourselves a, ch a chance to win a championship tomorrow I'm, I'm thrilled for them um, I thought it was a good game I, I like you know we, we had some some chances in the first and second period we capitalized uh, we got a little bit loose in and around the net and, and a lot of that is because the Boston College is so so good around the net and um, you know then at the end uh, you know they kept on coming we, we made it you know, five three. We knew they were going to get that fourth. We just were hoping it was going to be later on in the in the third, not as quick. And then I liked the way our, our kids battled back. And then you know we, we were able to get a couple power plays and just you know we're running out the Eastern game. So uh, thrilled that we're 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 in the championship game and we'll get some rest and come back here uh, very shortly and get ready. You know, hopefully win the championship. We'll open up for questions for the athletes. stick for the game plan and uh, stay disciplined in our systems. We knew that they were going to be running and gunning, but if we stayed disciplined and those turnovers would happen, and if we stayed over the puck, that we could transition them and capitalize on those turnovers for our advantage. So, yeah. Andy Marin, going to the Hawks Journal, both of the players, do you see the team that doesn't take some penalties at bad times they did tonight? Coming into a game like this, do you kind of think, all right, we've got to keep an eye out for that, and maybe that's going to be our opportunity? Yeah, I mean, uh, BC is obviously you know, a very skilled team. That we just wanted to, tonight, we just wanted to come in and, you know, stay disciplined. We knew if we kept our feet moving and we were hard on puck, that they, they would have to, you know, haul us down and take some penalties. So you always want to you always want to keep your feet moving, kind of get inside the opponent's head a little bit. But um, if we really weren't focused on it. They're going to take penalties. We just wanted to play a certain way. And, Said uh, we, we just want to focus on us and keep moving our feet. And we knew that if we did that and just skated, they would have to eventually take some penalties, haul us down. And um, fortunately, that happened tonight. Made the end of the game a little, a little more relaxed for us, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was good. Are the Maryland uh, United States College Hockey Alliance this is for uh, Mike or uh, Nolan? Uh, tonight's win is sort of a continuation of the incredible run. Sticking to the process, coach talks about it all the time. Even when we were, you know, we had won a game and whatever it was, eight games, nine games. We just everyone kept that believability. We came to the rink with the same attitude every day, knowing that we we're going to turn the ship around. And uh, to be honest, no, we're no guy in the team. We're not surprised to be here. We set this goal from day one of the season. And uh, obviously there are some ups and downs, but uh, the character that we have in that dressing room is unbelievable. So. Um, a lot of people might be surprised that, that we're playing for the championship tomorrow, but that never crossed our mind. This was our goal, and we knew we could get here. So uh, just kudos to the guys in the locker room. Uh, Sean Hutchins, Roll Sun. What was going through the minds of everyone in the dressing room as that first game kept going on and on and on? Um, well, lucky for us, we kind of had a little experience with that uh, from last year's bean pot. Kind of same exact thing happened. The game before kept going on to you, and we just kind of stuck to every intermission. We stay loose, not really think about the game too much, and go skip the soccer ball, soccer ball around or warm up, keep loose. And uh, we just tried to, you know, keep our mind off the game, just watch the game that was going on, so you didn't get too nervous or antsy waiting for our game to start. So once, but once that game was over, and we did a really good job of kind of dialing it in and. Play times over and just focus on what was at hand. So, we did a good job of 
Get focused. One more question, but yeah, I think that's it. Alright, thanks guys. Good job. We'll open up for questions for Coach Madigan now. <coughs> Jimmy, similar question. You had to manage some energy and some, you know, some maybe some nerves while you're waiting for that first game to end. How hard is it, you know, from the coaching perspective to keep those guys, you know, at, the, at that right temperature, getting ready for that game, not knowing exactly when it's going to start? Yeah, I didn't really have to do much, Andy. Um, I think Nolan said the best. You know, last year, the first game of the bean call, we had to wait for, for double overtime. This obviously went one more. Um, you know, the kids at the end of each overtime went out and stretched out and played a little game of soccer, you know, bouncing around. And uh, they were in the locker room watching the game. So once it got beyond the five minute mark, uh, we knew that, you know, we, had, we would have 55 minutes. Uh, so we were playing that, you know, uh, watching that. But, uh, they're a good group. They, they're, they're dialed in, and, and there's great leadership from, from our captains and our seniors through in their, in their good size junior class. So I didn't have to say much. You know, I popped my head in just to make sure that no one's hanging from the rafters. But, um, you know, they're, they're pretty good. We ran out of bananas, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Coach, you guys got a couple of power play goals today. Can you just kind of, from your perspective, uh, what did you see that was clicking today on the power play? Either? Well, you know, they're so good on the, on the penalty kill, right? I mean, they're at, I don't know, 88, 89%. And, you know, we've got a power play. I think that matches, you know, if we're moving it to how they kill, because they pressure, and they pressure, and they're good at it, and they take away your outs. And we just try to front you know, their guys, so we would have outs in the middle of the ice, and, you know, and then they pressure, in, you know, up in our own zone, so we were able to score one off the rush, which we've done a few times this year, we took the rush and scored, no one, Steven scored a nice goal, and then we were able to, on the other one, just, you know, um, move it well, and move it quickly, and, you know, we're, we've got confidence in the power play, we're hitting it, you know, I think, you know, we're two for six today, but the last two power plays, you know, we were just going five on five, because at the end of the game, I think so. For my end, we're two for four, and we're hitting that twenty, almost twenty-two percent. So we're we've got confidence, uh, regardless of who we're going against, and um, and yeah, we found the open guy, and we made some nice shots. I mean, a William shot beat Demko high of the glove. I mean, that's a, it was a hell of a shot. Mike Whitford with the Boston Globe. You can obviously make this a moot point by winning later today, I guess, but. Were you aware, like, do you sort of follow what needs to happen? If you guys didn't win one or two games here this weekend, what needs to happen for you to get into the NCAA? Yeah, no, I'm keenly aware. Um, <laughs> um, and, you know, the players are too. Like, we, we just don't talk about it, Mike, you know, um, to the players. They, you know, they're, one, they're looking for the out-of-town scores where the late game, right? So by the time our game started, almost every game in the East, the two ECC games were complete. And, the second game, the West Coast, second, third, you know, second period into it. So, yeah, we, we, we know. But at the end of the day, you know, this league is such a great league. It's hard to win. A, it's hard to get to a hockey final four. It's hard to win a championship. We want to win a hockey championship. The NCAA tournament is great, and obviously we, we want to get there. But we want to win this. This is the SEC of football, this league. And if we can win a hockey championship, that's a great accomplishment. And this is a great league with great universities, and we, you know, we put a premium in winning this league. And if we can win it, that, that takes care of the national you know, tournament. Any other questions for Coach? Coach, I'm Andre Allen on your page dot com. Looks like uh, today um, you guys are just one step ahead of um, BC, pretty much the Bills on highway. Robert has been conversing with those BC sports that are early. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, why do you think you were kind of one step ahead of uh, the Well, you've got a different vantage point than I do. Because from the bench, they're coming. They're coming with speed through that neutral zone, and they play fast. They stretch you. You know, I thought at times they had us on our on our heels a little bit through the neutral zone. Um, you know, we try to keep our F3 high there. Um, you know, I thought the first goal, our goalie was, you know, Ryan was a little nervous, you know, we went in 5-4, and that's not a goal he usually gives up. I, then I thought we settled into the game, 
and you know we you know, we've always talked about you're just playing our game and, and our identity and uh, and we're able to get some ozone possession time that's a big part of our game and our success that we can get it down low and and create some offense um, and puck possession time that's that's how we can wear teams down and obviously it's less time in the, in the defensive zone um, so you know from my end I, I thought you know, the shots were a little more lopsided through two periods but uh, they had some quality chances and they're coming I mean when you see you know, Tuck and Fitzgerald and White and, you know, there's a lot of them are coming to the neutral zone with speed. I mean, it's like, uh-oh, you know, you're on your heels a little bit. And, um, um, but, I, you know, I thought we, we did a good job just getting back a little